What's up, binge bays? It's your girl, Blakey. Now, let me turn this light on in here. Get a little extra light up in here. Let me turn this down, too. No, we don't have much trouble with it, okay. Anyways, guys, how y'all doing? So, I am cooking, as you can see, and I'm making creamy curry veggie soup, okay? So, I just... I'm just freestyling or something real quick. And so um, I started cooking and then I was like, let me, turn, let me turn on the camera and show them what I'm doing. So this, maybe somebody else can try this, especially if it comes out good, guys. So this is my red onions and garlic in there first. And then I have my washed kale that I got from the farmer's market. So I'm gonna put the rest of this in there. So right now we have red onions and fresh garlic, simmering, and avocado oil. And now I'm about to put the rest of this kale in there, close up the pot so it can sweat down, and then I'm gonna get my head of cabbage that I also got from the farmer's market, guys. So excited about my farmer's market um, little visit. Well, they actually came to us, so that was even more convenient. All right, so all the kale is in there. I'm about to cover that up. Who still got these roasted pans? I got this from my mom so long ago because I always had to make the um, greens for like when I used to do holidays. And so I used to do my three greens with my smoked turkey net and all that stuff before I became vegan. But, so I have that simmering. Let's go to sweat down. Now I need to get my cabbage out, chop it up and add it to my pot. See you guys in the next clip.
right, let me update y'all, okay? Because I'm listening to my jams right now. But, um, so, last time you looked in the pot, it was just the kale, red onion, and garlic. Now I've added my cabbage that you saw me shred, and I added the green pepper that you saw me cut up, and I added two cans of garbanzo beans. So I'm gonna let that sweat down, and then I'm gonna make my cutty roux. Cutty roux. So we're gonna let that sweat down, and then we're gonna season it up real good, and so on. So next, I'm going to work on my quinoa. So I need some garlic for my quinoa. And so I do a quinoa, quinoa just like I do rice. And that is, um, I saute some garlic in the pot, put the rice in there, season up a little bit, saute it a little bit. Then I add my water and cover it up and let it cook down. Um, so that's how we about to do it right now. So I'm about to move this bit pan over here because I be having ha I be having the um kids like whichever kid wants to help me with the meat portion because I don't like to deal with meat and um my husband's gonna have curry wings with his curry you know with his you know quinoa and stuff so and you know the rest of us don't eat meat but the kids don't mind you know prepping his wings and so I got these wings from um, Costco the organic chicken party wings and so they're sitting in some water so they could defrost but I'm going to brown them in here and put them in the oven that'd be my easiest way to make his wings um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna do but let me get this quinoa out the way real quick and I will show you guys in a minute I almost forgot to tell you guys that I'm also making corn on the cob <laughs> that I also got from the farmer's market. So I'm about to prep that. Y'all saw me rinse the quinoa. Um, so I'm waiting for the garlic to kind of do its thing in the pan with the um, avocado butter. So it's sauteing right now. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. Mm -hmm. Let me get a fork, kind of break this garlic up a little bit. Kind 
I smashed the garlic in there. All right, I'm about to turn it on low and then add the quinoa, some seasonings, and some and saute it a little bit and then add some water, let it cook down. So, let me do that. What am I doing? I just said what I was gonna do. I'll add the quinoa in here. All right. So what I do is flip it inside out. You know, it gets really sticky. So I'm just gonna wait until I get some water in the pot to Rinse the rest of that thing off. But where's my fork? I'm gonna stir it around a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna add some more butter to this. So I probably added like a half a stick and all, I get some smoked paprika, which is right here. Put that in there. Some garlic, let me get some salt, some pink Himalayan sea salt, and then some garlic powder. Which I gotta get some more garlic powder and onion powder. Cause you know we like to use that. I'm gonna stir it around. Mm-hmm. So it looks like this. It's very fragrant. You see, it looks like this, it's very fragrant. And so, I toast it a little bit. And then, put some water in it. I don't use measurements, you just kinda know. Use some type of a tool. Don't use your hands because all the quinoa will um, stick to your hands. Wet quinoa, it's, it attaches itself. So try to use a fork like I'm doing or some type of utensil. So at least you could dip the fork in the water and it'll all come off. After you strain it in a, cause you can't use a regular strainer cause the holes are too big. So that's why I use a cloth strainer. That way nothing gets lost. Okay, so the water. The water's in there, guys. As you can see, I'm about to close this up. And let it cook. All right, now let's check on the big pot of vegetables. So they cook down a little bit, all right? And um, I added some carrot shreds to that. So I'm about to start. Ooh, I'm about to start adding some seasoning in this. 
think I'm gonna use some no chicken bouillon for this. So this is the better than bouillon vegan chicken one. No chicken bouillon. All right, guys, I had to get a different angle, but I'm gonna go in to the veggie pot with some smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika, it's so good. All right, of course, some garlic powder. Okay, I got some black pepper. I've got some regular paprika. I've got some turmeric. I got some curry, of course. onion powder. And put some coriander. Put some onion powder. I'm gonna stir this up. Okay. The kids were in here, they can help, they can hold the camera. But. And then I'm gonna add. Then I'm gonna add my. Um, then I'm gonna add my flour to make a roux, so it can be a little thick, a little creamy joint. And next, I'm about to prepare my corn.
love Springy Beverly and Mays. Comment down below. But right now, guys, just want to show you the veggies are cooked down some. Um, and I added some, I forgot to add my cinnamon in there because I put a little cinnamon in my curry. And I added a little more curry. And now I'm about to put some flour in here. Stir that around. And then I'm going to add some milk. Oat milk, okay? Oat milk. To make it creamy. But first, I need to see if I got some red curry paste. Because, you know, red curry. We like both curries. So I'm kind of doing a mixture of both. I probably don't have red curry paste. Let me look. Let me look in here. I'll let you guys know in a second. Of course, I got my red curry, y'all. So, this is the red curry. And, yeah, we're right on time. So, I have a brand new bottle. Because it's an essential in here. We haven't had it in a while, though. So, I'm about to put some of this in here. And get back and get back to y'all. So your veggies should look like this, super seasoned, because you're gonna add milk and it's gonna dilute it a little bit. So um, let me put some flour in here. Okay, let me move the coriander. I have some flour. Unbleached, unbleached flour. Add it to the pot, okay? It's about a half a cup. Then we're gonna stir so you don't see the white anymore. Pasty veggies, kind of. All right, and now I have the thick oat milk here. This is another um, oat milk, but it's just unsweetened. So I'm running out of milks. And then I'm gonna add some milk into my corn. Pour those in there. Curry has a little sweetness to it. So, I'm gonna let 
this simmer and then I'll taste it and see what else it needs. So I'm about to take these corns out because I feel like they've been in here long enough and I'm gonna put them on a cookie sheet for in the oven. All right guys, so I'm gonna let you guys take a look. The quinoa is done. Okay, hope you guys saw that. And here is the curry. I'm about to taste it and then I'm gonna end my video guys. yummy and that'll conclude my video i may, hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys like comment subscribe and we'll see you in another video